hello welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel so today we'll be talking about scholarship opportunities that are available for workers especially government workers not to make this video very long i'll be talking about two scholarships so the first one will be the kdi which is korea development institute for public policy and management this institute has scholarships that are offered by different organizations for example you have global ambassador scholarship seoul g20 global leaders fellowship posco asia fellowship colombo plan scholarship kogas global fellowship and a host of others it is also important to know that all of the scholarship providers provide round trip airfare but the difference is that as far as monthly allowance is concerned it differs who can benefit from the kdi scholarship the scholarship is intended for that list of ODA recipient countries. Simply put, it is aimed towards countries that are less developed, countries that are on the OECD list of less developed countries, which are 64 in numbers, which means your country must be in the that list of ODA countries. So what are the programs that are offered? At the master's level, you have three programs. Master of Public Policy, Master of Development Policy, Master of Public Management. It is the same thing at the PhD. I'll be placing a link down this video to the KDI website where you can equally go through the study programs that are available for you. So make sure you, you check the link down and then please, if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video. The second scholarship is a Koika scholarship, which is intended to nurture leaders or build up the capacities of leaders in developing countries so that they can assist in the socioeconomic development of their home countries. This scholarship is intended for the OECD countries, which means DAC has a list of ODA countries, which are 64 in number that it sponsors for this scholarship. It is intended to assist countries that are developing. The COICA scholarship is for people who are working in the developing countries, which means you must be a worker, a government worker, or working in a government research institute. And then you must be recommended by your home government for you to be eligible for this scholarship. For the available fields of studies, I'll place a link down. So make sure you check below this video for a list of programs that are available for studies but then what are the benefits of this scholarship what do you benefit in case you get accepted to this scholarship the first thing is that you have a round trip airfare and then you have a monthly allowance the tuition fee for this program is free accommodation is paid by the agency you have an insurance when is the application period? The application period is usually in March. Application for the Koika office is usually done through the Koika regional office or through the Korean embassy, which means if you have a Korean embassy in your country or maybe in a neighboring country that covers your country, you can apply directly to the embassy. Mm -hmm. 